NASA has confirmed that they may have finally discovered another planet in the solar system. It is astounding to think that even after decades of research and exploration, the cosmos still finds a way to surprise us in our own backyard. Let's take a closer look at this newest discovery. In the early 1900s, astronomers believed that a ninth planet could exist as it would explain the wobbles in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. The gravitational pull of another planetary body was thought to be responsible and so when Pluto was discovered in 1930, scientists believed this was the ghost planet they had been seeking, so the search was over. However, the hunt restarted when further research revealed that Pluto was too small to affect Neptune and Uranus. Poor Pluto would later be demoted to a dwarf planet, and whether it is a planet at all is hotly debated. Based on data collected from Voyager 2's flyby of Neptune in 1989, NASA announced that there were no anomalies in the orbits of the outer planets at all. They were not rogue. So, at this stage, it seemed that they had been searching for something that did not exist. In 1992, the Kuiper Belt was discovered, and with its study came more signs that another planet may well exist. This vast region of the solar system beyond Neptune is believed to contain hundreds of thousands of icy bodies larger than 62 miles across, as well as a trillion or more comets. Pluto is the best known of the larger objects here, with Quawar, Sedna, and Eris discovered between 2002 and 2005, and all four were classified as dwarf planets in 2006. Scientists noted that Sedna travels in a long elliptical orbit that takes 11,000 years to complete. What pulls Sedna in this direction? Could it be another world with a strong gravitational pull? In January 2015, Caltech astronomers Konstantin Batagin and Mike Brown announced new research that provides evidence of a giant planet tracing an unusual, elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The prediction is based on detailed mathematical modeling and computer simulations, not direct observation. This large object could explain the unique orbits of at least five smaller objects discovered in the distant Kuiper Belt. Scientists say it's too early to say with certainty there's a so-called Planet 9. What we're seeing is an early prediction based on modeling from limited observations. It's the start of a process that could lead to an exciting result. The Caltech scientists believe Planet 9 may have a mass about 10 times that of Earth and be similar in size to Uranus or Neptune. The predicted orbits about 20 times farther from our Sun on average than Neptune, which orbits the Sun at an average distance of 2.8 billion miles. It would take this new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make just one full orbit around the Sun. Astronomers, including Batagen and Brown, will begin using the world's most powerful telescopes to search for the object in its predicted orbit. Any object that is distant from the Sun will be found very faint and hard to detect, but astronomers calculate that it should be possible to see it using existing telescopes. For more than a century, astronomers have mused about such a planet, erroneously believing that something hefty was perturbing Neptune's orbit. Astronomer Percival Lowell called the world Planet X and was so intent on finding it that he left a million dollars to fund the continuing search after his death in 1916. In 1930, the Lowell Observatory's Clyde Tombaugh found little Pluto instead. The Caltech team based their prediction of Planet 9's existence on how it perturbs a group of Kuiper Belt objects, or KBOs. These small icy worlds beyond Neptune include a population of objects with extreme orbits that take them at least 150 times farther from the Sun than Earth's orbit. In 2016, Batagen and Brown scrutinized six of those objects whose oblong, tilted orbital paths have confounded scientists for years. The team concluded that an unseen planet about 10 times as massive as Earth must be gravitationally shepherding the objects into their catawampus trajectories. The planet's estimated mass sits between Earth and Neptune, making it a type of world that appears to be common throughout the galaxy, based on surveys of planets orbiting other stars, yet is conspicuously absent in our solar system. Soon after the announcement, though, astronomers began casting doubts on the Planet X hypothesis. Chief among their concerns was that the peculiar clustering of orbits might not be clustering at all. Instead, over the past five years, multiple teams using a variety of data sets have repeatedly concluded that the evidence pointing to Planet 9 is nothing more than an observational artifact. Perhaps Planet 9 is an apparition, its supposed gravitational handiwork, a false signature created by a small number of misleading data points. 
Astronomers are still working on resolving the controversy, and this latest analysis from Brown and Batigen is one attempt to do that. Brown and Batigen base their newest predictions on Planet Nine's size and orbit on a slightly different set of objects. Some of the original KVOs remain in their data set, but the team added new ones and threw out any objects whose orbits appeared to be influenced by Neptune's gravity. In the end, they worked with 11 KBOs. The new study finds that there's a 99.6% chance that the peculiar orbital alignments of these objects are the work of an unseen planet and not random chance. Batigen also ran a heap of simulations to predict the characteristics of whatever world might be sculpting those 11 orbits, chiefly its location and mass. The result is the treasure map pointing to Planet Nine's orbit in the sky, although the team still has no idea where the planet could be along that path. Although it's now estimated to be smaller, roughly five or six times Earth's mass rather than ten, the planet is also apparently closer. This means Planet Nine should be brighter in the sky, although Brown points out that the planet's estimated brightness is based on assumptions about its composition, which could be wrong. The new predictions bring the hypothetical world more in line with a similar claim made by astronomers Chad Trujillo and Scott Shepard. In 2014, that team reported the discovery of an object called 2012 VP113, which they jokingly nicknamed Biden after then U.S. Vice President Joe Biden. They suggested that a faraway world five times as massive as Earth could be nudging Biden and several other distant objects into cluster trajectories. But despite the converging hypotheses, experts in the field are nowhere close to reaching a consensus about Planet Nine's existence. The fact that scientists haven't yet set eyes on Planet Nine could suggest that, if it exists, the world is positioned near the farthest reaches of its orbit, making it a faint, slowly moving target that's hiding in starlight. Brown and Batigen, plus Shepard and Trujillo, are using the powerful Subaru telescope situated atop Hawaii's Mauna Kea to hunt for the elusive planet. But even with the sharpest tools in astronomers' arsenal, the search is challenging. At its surmised brightness in orbit, Planet Nine inconveniently blends into the glittering masses of background stars, a world adrift amid the milky streamer of our galaxy in the nighttime sky. Sifting through star fields using Subaru isn't the only way astronomers could pin the planet in the sky. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which is busy searching for planets orbiting other stars, may catch sight of Planet Nine as it scans areas that include the planet's supposed orbit. In 2019, astronomers suggested that clever data processing could pull far away solar system objects from test observations, a technique that scientists are currently working on. Many astronomers agree that planet hunters' most likely chance of finding Planet Nine is the Vera Rubin Observatory, currently under construction atop a Chilean mountaintop. The 8.4-meter telescope with an enormous field of view will photograph the entire visible sky every few nights. Starting in 2023, the observatory will let astronomers track the movements of millions of celestial objects, including space junk, asteroids, comets, spy telescopes, stars, and maybe even Planet Nine. Brown thinks the planet could turn up before fancy next-generation telescopes come online. Perhaps the stealthy world is lurking in data that astronomers already have in hand. Some theorists have put forward a radical hypothesis that states that Planet Nine may not be a planet after all. Rather, it is a small black hole that might be detectable from the theoretical radiation emitted from its edge, so-called Hawking radiation. Small black holes are very interesting to astronomers. All black holes we know of in the universe come from the deaths of massive stars, and because only the most massive stars are big enough to form a black hole, they can only leave behind black holes with a minimum mass of around five times that of the sun. But black holes smaller than that could have formed in the extreme conditions of the early universe. These primordial black holes could flood the cosmos, but cosmological observations have ruled out most models of primordial black hole formation, with a few narrow exceptions, like planet-sized black holes. So if scientists can confirm that a small black hole is orbiting the sun, it could provide an intriguing look at one of the greatest mysteries of modern cosmology. If scientists can more conclusively pin down the location of the hypothetical Planet Nine using other observations, and it turns out to be a black hole, then a targeted mission can fly close to its event horizon and possibly orbit it. There, we would have direct observational access to one of the most extreme gravitational environments in the universe.
New reports from NASA state that if the elusive planet does exist, astronomers may finally have a decent chance of spotting it. NASA has recently announced that a planet about 10 times more massive than Earth likely lurks in the distant outer solar system, orbiting perhaps 600 times farther from the Sun than Earth does on average. The evidence for the existence of this Planet 9 is indirect at the moment. Computer models suggest a big, undiscovered world has shaped the strange orbits of multiple objects in the Kuiper Belt, the ring of icy bodies beyond Neptune. But direct evidence could come relatively soon in the form of telescope observations. The data collected is bright enough that on its closest approach to the Sun, the planets may even be visible with some backyard telescopes. This means that Planet 9 is not too close to the Sun at the moment. However, there is a chance that powerful ground-based telescopes may still be able to detect it. The 27-foot-wide Subaru Telescope in Hawaii is the go-to observatory for the search because Planet 9 is predicted to be visible in the northern hemisphere sky. Astronomers state that it is still tough to know just how detectable the planet would be considering the uncertainty surrounding the putative world's size, orbit, and composition as these characteristics affect the brightness of the planet. Scientists believe they have already covered some parts of the planet's possible orbit using the Subaru Telescope as a part of a larger, years-long survey for more objects such as 2012 VP113. The researchers will likely use Subaru to narrow in on more promising possible locations, but the hunt for smaller bodies, such as the 2012 VP113, will continue as well. The hunt for Planet 9 will also probably send astronomers back to their archives. The undiscovered world may have already been photographed by powerful telescopes, but researchers didn't spot it. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about a black hole that may be seen from Earth in 2022. Do you think Planet 9 is a black hole? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.